These things are so wicked. Ah! What's up fish tank people? Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing to you with the burnt scalp on a Sunday baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video I want to show you how we're prepping for the expansion of uh, Greenhouse 2.0 on to Greenhouse 3.0. Got a lot of fun critters we found today. We're also going to talk about uh, some of the wins and some of the losses with the basins. And uh, yeah, I got some random species to show you as well. First thing we're doing here, uh, over here we have one of these basins we're going to extend the yard hydrants i had to put these in i was on vacation designing this uh like two years ago trying to figure out where the yard hydrants would go before they built anything uh hindsight's 2020 i'm going to move them over so that one over there is going to go over we got to get that basin out of the way because we're going to take that basin out and uh move that yard hydrant over further and then we're going to bring this one out as well we're also going to put one there and put one there so that's going out there but check out some of the fun stuff that we actually found in these a little lizard action for you and I'm a plant guy, not a salamander and frog guy. If anybody knows anything about these little critters we're catching, drop me a note in the comments on what we should do with them, where we should keep them, feed them, that sort of thing. I have to get a little bit woo-woo with you on this. Uh, what's going through my mind right now is the ant philosophy. I will not do the ant philosophy justice, so I'm going to turn it over to the sense departed Mr. Jim Rome to talk about the ant philosophy. I used to talk to kids about the ant philosophy. Let me give you a couple of clues now about the ant philosophy. So if you got that note now, be like the ants. Think winter in the summer. Don't think summer in the summer and get faked out. Look how lovely and look how nice. See, that's getting faked out. Ants don't do that. They think winter all summer. Now here's the next one. You gotta think summer all winter. In the winter, you gotta say, we won't be in here long. We'll soon be out of here. We'll be out there working and gathering more food and providing for the future. This winter won't last long. We'll soon be out of here. So the key is to think summer in the winter and think winter in the summer. Yeah, that's right. And so what's the ant doing during the summer? The ants think in winter, think in winter, think in winter. What's going to happen in the winter? Winter time, we're going to sell a bunch of sets. So what are we doing? The grasshopper's off playing around. The ant is working. The ant is planting. The ant is going and finding food. What we're working on here, you reap what you sow. We're sowing a lot right here. I want to show the Sag Basin you can see has just totally been blowing up just in one week's time. But I want to show, and this is a lesson for you all with your dirt tanks, with your algae and stuff, some of the stuff we're doing in the other basin that's a couple weeks behind. We dropped the water level, let's show you that. Follow me. So we've got the one basin totally rolling, but the other one is a couple of weeks behind. Uh, this one, like I talked about, is not doing the layer of sag. Our friend Frog will be making a cameo in a second. But with this one, didn't do the layer of sand. You can see the play sand we have here. Didn't add a lot of it. But this one right here was having problems clouding. So what I did was I dropped the water level so you could see how much we have in here. Probably 200 sag planted. But I took some of the large swords, Amazon sword, heavy root feeder. Feeds like crazy from the roots. You can look at the veins in these plants that I'll show you in a second and see just how much they are feeding. The plant load was too low for the amount of light that we have. So we were getting algae, cloudy water. We also had to go do some patching. So we added a bunch of swords and some floating hyacinth. If your pond has algae this time of year, add water hyacinth or water lettuce is what we added over there. There's also some frog bit over there. Floating plants make life better. So does a frog. Let's find the frog. Random frog cameo right in the middle of the video. Love it. He's being surprisingly good right now. Look at that dude. These things are so wicked. Ah! Why is he so chill? Don't eat me. It's like, don't eat me. I'm not going to eat you, buddy. This is the paper sand. I don't recommend using this as your main base layer, but this is the paper sand that I used a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of over the dirt before I put the gravel down, and it seems to cause a little bit less of a mess and hold the dirt down a little better. New stuff. All right, so I want to talk about these basins and simultaneously get woo-woo and just kind of how I roll. Um, I am a ready, fire, aim type of guy. Every master was once a disaster. You got to just start, no matter what you're doing, whether it's some business side hustle, YouTube channel, whatever you're doing, you got to start. 
and you're gonna suck it first. This is me sucking it first. This is a total fail. This is the torta, like didn't step down, used too much, uh, used too much dirt, uh, not quite enough gravel, didn't stomp it down, didn't tamp it out, didn't rinse it dry, didn't rinse. This is a total fail, right? I'm gonna have to like redo that, okay? So ready, fire, aim. But what happens when you fail? You learn. There's no losses in life, only lessons. This is the win over here. Let's show the leopard val tank. Um, I'm not a religious man. I listen to Earl Nightingale's uh, The Strangest Secret in the World. And one of the things he says and the, in the Bible says, uh, as you sow, so shall you reap. We've been sowing and we are reaping in here. Super stoked about this. Uh, the leopard vow. This is a lesson for everyone that's just starting out in an aquarium. The leopard vow, but this applies to basically any plants. Everybody wants to pay attention to the outside of the plant. They want to pay attention to this part. So they see they see this part and they're like, oh, my plants are rotting, my plants are gross, like they're all dying, what do I do? I just bought them, they're dying. This is, this is like a little tiny bit uh, over two weeks old right here. And then the outer part is just gonna do that because it's from a different environment. But you wanna look at the center of the plant. The center of all these is like, oh, I mean, that's perfect growth there, right here. Center of these, outer stuff looks crunk. Inner stuff, oh my goodness, like perfect, perfect, perfect little growth. Always look at the center of the plants, they're gonna tell you the story. Unlike humans and animals and stuff, if you cut an arm off, it's not gonna grow back here. You'd rip this off, it's taken away energy from the plant, it's gonna actually energize the plant to shoot off more energy into the new growth. So that's the trick there. That's it's just like five little pieces of random leopard bow that are floating in here but the stuff that's down in the substrate is getting more nutrients at the base where it eats and it's growing like crazy this is not quite balanced yet it doesn't have quite enough plant load to handle the high amounts of what's called the sun to handle the low plant load, but it's getting closer and closer by the day. So I do I do, do the work, we do do the water changes. I've been running the water on this for about 20 minutes, dechloring about every 10, and um, it's clearing it up. But once it hits a certain critical mass, you won't have to worry as much about algae, cloudy water, that sort of thing, because the plant load will be enough to handle all the light, and it's getting really close. This one over here, Val Station, Torta, Leopard Val, Giant Val, Giant Val. Love, 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 love the Giant Val. You can see the picture of Mr. Robert Steinbach with his Giant Val right here. This plant melts off hard, comes back stronger. New growth in the center of all of these. The sun's not doing us any justice. I do the work out here in the morning, by the way, because it gets hot but these all have a new little bit of center growth. And what I did is I took the stuff that we wouldn't sell, the stuff that grows short, and I uh, took all that stuff, because it's already got new center growth, stuff that if I sold somebody, they'd be like, oh my God, that's short. Well, it's actually like converted and good to go. So I took the converted stuff uh, to our water and put it in here, and then it's just gonna grow off. But there's only, I think, 100 giant bowl in here. I wanna get the plant load a little bit higher in there. So this is a lot of fun. And then over here, can't really see it. This will be the Italian bow. The Italian bow was planted in the shade. There's only 50 in there, but uh, so we'll have four types of bow rolling. Fun times. 